after years, I mean season after season of sharing Smith's ballpark with the Salt Lake Bees, the University of Utah baseball team could now be getting its own field. Just last night, the U's Board of Trustees granted contingency approval to start fundraising for the project. Fox 13 News reporter Emily Tenser spoke to fans who say they are all about out with the old and in with the new. Hi, Emily. Hi, Kelly. The Utes game against Utah Valley University just wrapped up minutes ago, and I caught up with fans to ask them what they think about this proposed project. Now that the Salt Lake Bees are buzzing out of Smith's ballpark, the University of Utah baseball team is following suit, potentially making the practice field on Guardsmen Way their new home plate. Their venues are nice, but if, if there's better stadiums, better fields, now the youth deserve it for sure. Director of Athletics Mark Harlan says they've been looking for a new location for almost a decade. You are losing a little bit of old, but the fresh, it, it just kind of puts a little pep in your step sometimes. It's exciting news for Utes fans at the Utah Valley game oh! Tuesday night. Oh, you're kidding me. I've been waiting for years. I'm so sick of going to games at Smith's Ballpark. I am so excited. But the neighborhood across the street is not so excited. Yale Crest transforms into a parking lot anytime something big happens at Rice Eccles Stadium. The $35 million proposed project would call for a capacity of 1,200 fans. I don't know where they're going to put all these cars. There's not enough parking on the street. If they're able to expand the field and buy out that park, absolutely. The U says it's sensitive to community concerns, but the chair of the Yale Crest Neighborhood Council says they're blindsided. Yes, I am an alumna of the University of Utah, but right now at this moment, I'm extremely disappointed uh, and ashamed of my university. The U says the proposed stadium could open as early as 2025 and the majority of the funding will be privately raised. Now, as for tonight's game here against the Wolverines, Utah Valley University won by 1.6 to 5. Reporting live in Orem, Emily Tensor, Fox 13 News, Utah.